Zinich's constellations are actually pretty incredible, and I mean, they're really good. The first constellation Kinnich has is his movement speed increases while, you know, midair, and also additionally, his cannon crit damage is increased by 100%. So not only does this have an insane scaling, but also the crit that you have on your Kinnich, you can increase that by 100%. So realistically, if I had a full set of the Obsidian Codex, I'd have 81, 300 for the spike cannon damage, which is insane. Uh, not to mention you get to just max out on his attack and you, you actually just go ham with that constellation. Definitely one deserving of a DPS. But that's not it. He still gets he still gets better. C2 constellation 2 gives him a 30% dendro resistance decrease. This is a full artifact set for free the four piece of the deepwood set does this and he just has it in his constellation you know how great this is it's massive this can get rid of the need for having the deepwood set on another character or it can just increase the value of it and have it be um, doubled up now i can't say for sure if that's exactly how it works but i would assume that is how that would work and additionally yes yeah, so there's more the first cannon kinnish fires after entering night's world blessing the aoe is increased and the damage is increased by further a hundred percent so having the c1 giving it 100 percent extra crit damage and then c2 increasing the aoe and the damage itself by 100%, which is so, so good. And the dendro resistance decrease will make it even stronger. This is insane already. His, con his constellations are absolutely incredible. And the C3 allows him to get the elemental skill increase, which is pretty, pretty nice, actually. And the C4 allows him to get some energy recharge back, as well as 70% more damage to his burst. C5, burst talent. And then C6 allows you to get 700% you know, increasing the Kinnager's attack, dendro damage situation it is so good because the bounce between the opponents. So even though it's single target, it'll bounce between opponents, which makes it so, so good. And the bounce is the 700% damage. And if the cannon triggers the buff of, you know, the burning and the burgeon and whatever it's called, the bouncing attack will also be in the buff which is really nice and uh, yeah it's just so strong c1 is already pretty powerful c2 is insane and then c6 obviously as usual makes a character broken but c2 this is an amazing constellation and if i had the extra funds i would go for it but even though kinnage works perfectly fine at c0 him having those constellations just i don't know it it makes the future dps sound a little bit better and better and better and better and it's kind of you know crazy of the power creep word um but other than that i don't know kinnich is already an awesome character without the constellations but constellations make him that much better as well but yeah, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about, okay? I mean, he's not like another character. Like, Okay, let's go to Tignar, okay? He is a Dendro character, right? This constellations, C1 just increased the crit rate by a little bit. Measly 15%. But then, the second one gives him a Dendro damage bonus of 20%. But that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. It doesn't go crazier than that. I mean, he was planned to go on the standard banner. Maybe that's why they didn't make him as crazy as that. But it, I mean, the C6 just does, does a little bit more damage. And then the charge time is decreased. That's it. That is it. Okay. How about another Dender character? Okay. Let's go to an Arco. Let's go to Nahida, right? Nahida has some broken constellations. C1 already being an insane amount of value because you already have 
all the buffs from the thing of one count of it. And the C2 increases crit rate, crit damage by a lot. So any character that's been affected by quick and aggregate or spread, their defense is decreased by 30%, which is, it's just massive, right? Now it's on par with this. I would say it's, it's, it's pretty much on par because even though it's not defense, you know, decrease, it is then resistance decrease, which is pretty much what he needs, right? It's just so strong and it might not be defense percentage decrease, but he does get an increase in damage here as well. It just stacks on stacks on stacks. And I'm kind of scared for the future of these characters because they just keep getting better and better. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is this Kenichi a good character to get constellations on? Or should you hold off because Mavuika is right around the corner? I think that's the way to go. Hold off until Mavuika comes and then decide if you want to go for constellations once uh, he makes a rerun. Because Mavuika is probably going to have some broken constellations. Let's be real. Let's be real. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week.